So in this video, we're going to generally see what this software offers to us. So we'll get to know our workspace, all the functions and just a general overview of this program. So we can choose between several languages, a lot of them, I would say. Let's go to English. As I mentioned, this is going to be also, as always, a real life oriented course tutorial. That's why I'm going to show you the way I use this program. So the first thing, I use this version 6.3. There are also newer versions, but I didn't try them. Yes, I really did try them, but I had some problems with them, with some bugs, so I gave up. So as mentioned, I use this software for two reasons. The first one, to calculate my heat loss. And the second one, some of my customers demand that I document the heat loss in my cabinet, so that's a pretty much also a nice reason to use this program. So everything you should know about this program is over here in this section, so quick start. This is where we calculate our heat loss, enclosure climate control, create new project, some additional info, project overview. This is this is going to be a list of all the projects you'll have, you'll create over here, data import and export, so you can export your heat loss database and your projects, and you can also import them back to your Let's say you work with a team member, so he created some calculations, you also, and then you want to exchange the data. This is how you do it. Our projects, additional info is in this section. So for those who use Anglo-Saxon units, you can change to those units. It's a nice feature. Heat loss. Let's see what's this all about. So you have some predefined prices over here with their corresponding heat losses, power losses, or you can also create your own. We're gonna cover that one as we start to work on our example on our student one project that we created in ePlan. That's about it for the workspace. It's a simple, small program, but very useful. Now let's go to quick start. Calculate enclosure climate control. That's the one we want to use. Let's just create a new project for this in this video. Create a new project, we'll call it student1 heat loss in the cabinet 2. So when we go to ePlan, this is our project we created in the previous courses for ePlan. This is the version from the course Volume 2, that we all, where we also assign the parts and create a 2D panel layout. So we're going to calculate later on in this course the heat loss for these elements and then we're going to dimension, we're going to see if you need a, only a fan fans or even um, air conditioning in our cabinet too. In this one. Let's go back. We 
I'm going to leave those data as it is. Now, external temperature. So we are working with SI units. And we're going to say that it, it, it can be up to 38 degrees Celsius in the area where we're going to install our cabinets, place our cabinets. Internal temperature, we're going to say that we can work up to, let's say, 42 degrees in the cabinet. You can also work with different voltages, for example, 115, 460 and so on. We're going to include 230 volts and we are going to save the project and then later on in the next videos we're going to start to work on our calculation. Project overview. This is our new project.